this is part one of a two-parter where I helped producer Mike assemble his first watercolor palette. When reviewing the footage, I asked him to help me work out the voiceover, but he sounded so good that I decided to just use that audio recording. So why did you choose those colors? Because uh, I thought they were good for mixing. Okay. Uh, did you watch any video footage of anyone on YouTube? Uh, yeah, but I think. Showing uh, yeah, I think uh, I was actually looking at a website or a blog. It was a blog. Okay. And so uh, I think it was Denise's uh, tips for mixing palette or something. Denise Soden. I believe uh, so. In liquid color. Yeah, I believe okay. so. But she had like some uh, guidelines. It kind of was going through the different yellows. And one is more was more permanent, or one you know what I mean. Okay. More staining, I think, was the term. Okay. So you you did some research before. Yeah. You so you kind of use it as a one. guide, and then I kind of also there were certain colors I just thought were cool looking. So. Okay. <laughs> cool. I like the little brochure in there. That's nice. And then I picked the trio again because it was kind of sort of a mixing, uh, but it was more like a fall. Mm -hmm. Fall color mixing. Are you going to paint some leaves, some fall leaves, or some mushrooms? Yeah. That's what <laughs> I'm thinking. So much nature around. I got lots of examples. I, uh, so, what's so, so this set, I picked it because it's it was the wildflower, even though I, I don't do flowers. But it seemed like the colors were kind of nice and mixable. Yeah, and again, it was it, very nature friendly. Yeah. And right. I think there was only one color that really didn't fit in with some of the palette recommendations I was going by. Hmm. But it, I figured whatever. So these are full size tubes in that big set. Yeah. In the big set, I yeah, like you that. get the 15. Oh. Are they 15 or 18? Yeah. I think they're 15 ml. And the other ones were like 8 yeah. ml, I think. Yeah. Yeah. They're 8. And then they also have a 37. If you want big tubes. Yeah. Wow, oh, this chair is really amazing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. There it is. Yeah. Yeah, but I remember when I opened this up, I, I noticed that the, the pans, the half pans were in like sideways. I thought, well, it looks like it works. So I wasn't worried about it. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, uh, I, yeah, guess, I yeah. cut. Because remember later on, I was fiddling with them. It's like they're too tight that way when I was putting them back in. So I flipped them vertically and that, like the way my pans are. I like it better that way. But anywho, that was later. I didn't have any plan that way. So that was all good. Yeah. I, was, I was just really happy that you were able to fit the extra five half pans in the, in the middle between the two tracks. Yeah, so it gave me a little extra... Yeah, so you weren't just limited to 12 colors if you didn't want to be. <laughs> I'm already out of space, of course. Yeah, you want to add, we, we'll, you <laughs> add more colors. <laughs> I've, seven, only painted, painted, I've only painted I've uh, painted one kind of picture and uh, one kind of sample. And, yeah, I'll do some charting. Yeah. I need to do some mixing charting so I understand the concept of that's why I went with someone's yeah. recommendations, and then that way I start from there, and then I uh, once I see the mixes, I'll, I'll, I'll know what I have to work with, and I can always find yeah. a convenience color to make up for and, the mix. And you don't have to do it as a grid if you don't want to. You can just kind of play around if you want. Yeah. Oh, yeah, exactly. I wasn't trying to stress out too much. Yeah. So remember these when I was uh, squeezing these, and I uh, said they were thicker than what I was used to with yeah. these paints. Uh, most, a lot of them were anyway. Not all of them, but yeah, most of them was going, why are these so thick? <laughs> but I mean, it doesn't matter. It's just, you know, it was just a little different. Yeah. Uh, wasn't expecting that. But, uh, yeah, it works fine. Nice color choices. Like this. Well, I went with the Da Vinci brand only because it's, uh, you know, it seems relatively unheard of kind of. Uh, from a lot of the videos that we see on YouTube, and uh, we we you know you we went with the the M Graham and the Daniel Smith, and of course they're local companies, and of course they're very well uh, talked about on YouTube and such. But Da Vinci's down in California, so another West Coast company, 
so I thought I'd give it a shot. Cool. And it would work for me to play around with a, my own palette, but also uh, you can experiment with it for the channel too. So it's it's a it's a win win. And it was kind of sort of my birthday palette, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> When did we record? Was this a couple days before your birthday? Or how? Was... I think I had started ordering some of the colors around my birthday. Okay. But it took a while for it to get here. So, it, yeah. And then, you know, Halloween was coming and stuff like that. You have plenty of stuff, things on the channel, so it wasn't really priority. Mm -hmm. But it did work out that we ended up squeezing it in there before. Yeah. And actually, I think it was an October project. And I remember I got excited because I wasn't supposed to get my the second set of paints until like the Monday when I went back to work and I was kind of bummed and I ended up it ended up coming in on Saturday instead so it was nice. Oh yeah, so you got to yeah. uh, enjoy that. Yeah. Got to at least look at the have them in my hand. Yeah. But I think we did pour that weekend, so okay. It's possible we did the other colors because we did the first grouping. Right, and then we had to wait yeah. for the next one to to yeah. arrive, uh, like how, one or two days later. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And the ultramarine blue, the small one, I I threw in only because it was like, if I spent five dollars on product, I wouldn't have to spend five dollars on shipping. <laughs> so <laughs> you'd rather have it. So I figured <laughs> ultramarine blue is is a you know it's a mixing color, it's a mixing sure. blue. Yeah. So I figured you know I rather than pay for nothing, I'd get something for the five dollars. So that was why I did that. Yeah, that's smart. And I wasn't sure on the blues that I had. That was the thing because I, I think I had a red shade or a red, ultramarine red. Mm -hmm. And so I figured, again, mixing colors, right? If I, I, I was kind of thinking that, you know, good choices of blues, yellows, mm -hmm. reds, and then, you know, you got your mixing, mm -hmm. mixing down for whatever you want to do. And being really kind of green at it, I want to kind of experiment. So mm -hmm. that is a nice uh, green there, the the leaf green. Yeah, that was the one when I saw someone paint it. I was going, "That's really cool looking. It's it looks neon, but it does. Uh, I don't know what the correct term for it is. It's you know, it's a me. fresh, right. light green. I don't know, but yeah, definitely for like you know new leaves. I think would be. Like, like a spring type yeah, color, yeah. I think. But well, even when it first, even when it first kind of starts changing, I think sometimes when the yellows start coming in on the fall yeah. colors, you sometimes get a little bit of that. Little but see, I'm trying. I, I tried to put them back in the way that it, they came yeah. in the pan, and it's like, well, I did, did not like that. Well, it's it wastes. Obviously, you got more if you can do it the other well, direction. Well, you know, you I have. figured, you know, they must have done that for a reason maybe it's you know better that way or but then so I, I found around. that they were too loose because yeah. I had to press the tabs in so much uh, because they were loose that way and then they were tight when I uh, 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 on the row yeah. next to each other unless they're thinking if it's a travel palette <clears throat> you want to make sure they don't yeah. fall out so you have it snug on both sides that way so anyway, I didn't even ask I just you know just did it the way my way oh great <laughs> so well i'm yeah. not complaining because it it nets me see i think doesn't it net me another uh a half pan right i don't think so no, no. Oh, okay. it, it, it was just, it, i wasn't well, no, able to actually, fit no. anymore i think it's better uh, no it works out because it's just that it's it's snugger uh, that way and then not as tight the other way so I just... so again, it doesn't matter to me. I don't know. I don't know any different. So <laughs> <laughs> that's what, you know, I had, I wanted you to help me set up the palette. Obviously, you've done it before. And that's where I st <laughs> stuck my, I got, uh, what was it, uh, ultramarine knuckle or something. <laughs> <laughs> yes. so, Beware. Beware. I think I cut out the part where I was cleaning it off and get the tissues. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. When you're wiping off the the, the, the kind course, of smooth out course, the since board. I did, since I didn't use take I didn't keep the audio the original audio there was, there was I, all the cussing sorry <laughs> is gone. Yeah. Well. Mm -hmm. 
we haven't really gone to the you know the whole adult uh, you know swearing <laughs> version. What do you what you, the intense extreme no. palette? <laughs> extreme, <laughs> extreme watercolor. <laughs> Raw and or, dirty. Or, yeah, yeah, there you go. Raw. <laughs> this is what really is happening when, before we record the audio. <laughs> yeah. So five uh, extra uh, half pans in the middle. Yeah. Nice. So now is this, this was the first pour, right? This was, that was the first part. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then we, I got then, the second set. So. So yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so that's that even, it for this even part there, one. That, that could have been a good, I didn't have the, uh, I didn't have my neutral yet. Yes. I think I got my uh, burnt on the next one. All right, so this was just part one, so remember to tune in for part two, but any comments down below would be helpful, and like and subscribe for more of this wonderful content. Thank you, and Auf Wiedersehen.